Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and I've got a guest with me from YouTube today Philip from what's your channel again? Solar power electricity and electronics So he's got um, his, his house is unique in how he set it up But he has about 3,000 watts of solar panels and he's done it very nice and neatly and professionally and he drove all the way out here across the country to help us with our solar panels and our power and uh, we'll show you what's been going on here and uh, we'll do some recording as we go but uh, I want to say thank you for coming out all this way it's my all. pleasure and go on and check over solar power electricity and electronics on YouTube and uh, you can see how his house is set up you are a professional in Heating and air conditioning. Which involves a lot of electrical. Oh, yes. A lot. It, it involves a lot of troubleshooting with electricity because when you have a problem with your air conditioner, you have a 95% chance that that problem is an electrical circuit problem. Yep. In between, you've got uh, many different circuits that's going to allow you to learn basic skills on voltages and different heights and voltages. So. It's going to give you the ability to learn a wide band of abilities in any aspect of electricity. Right. So, so what he's done, or doing, I should say, is we are completely gutting out the tiny house on wheels as far as electricity goes. All the charge controllers, the, the, the power inverters, all the wiring, AC, DC, it's all being ripped out. And my friend here is rewiring the entire system neatly, cleanly, and professionally. So I want to say thank you very much. Well, it's no problem. We was on vacation in this area and we had a few days of spares. So I figured I'd come by and help somebody that needed it. And I intended on helping them because he just got mar uh, married to Melanie, which is a very, very sweet individual. Uh, I wanted to make sure he got a decent uh, wedding gift from us. So it's thank you. my help to him is just let's say the wedding gift. So he also brought over some solar panels, some old Harbor, Harbor Freight panels, and a uh, uh, another MPPT charge controller, 10 amp charge controller. It is a 10 amp at 12 volts or 24 volts. That's cool. And also the meter for the Renogy, it actually, by the way, is a Renogy charge controller and a meter for the other Renogy, which I'm using it on the other. So now I know what we got coming in here. That's awesome. And also a really nice uh, power inverter. It's which... not great. It's a basic uh, low price budget inverter, which is an Ames inverter. Um, I can't say that it's the best inverter. I would suggest to go with an American brand, but for the price, you could get one of these inverters and they'll do the job. And they do the job at low power consumption. That is why it's nice. Because <laughs> it's going to use about one twelfth of what I'm using when I flip the switch on the one I've been using. That's correct. Your new, the new one I'm bringing mm -hmm. that I had used before, mm -hmm. it consumes about 0.6 watts at 12 volts with no power consumption. Now on my system, I'm consuming 200 watts at 24 volts, but you know, you see the difference. Mm -hmm. If you got something that you can run 24 hours a day, seven yeah. days a week versus something you can't run. Right unless you only turning something on like a refrigerator or an air conditioner or your computer. Mm -hmm. So you would definitely want to have something with very low power consumption. Now, just to touch upon what uh, Philip here has, he's got 3,000 watts of solar panels. Yes, I got 3,000 watts. And tell everybody what you're running on that. Uh, I run my dryer. I run every receptacle, no, no, not my dryer, sorry. I, I run every receptacle in my house, okay? All the light switches in my house are powered into it. I have every 110 volt circuit that is in t attached in my house onto a 6,000 watt Ames inverter. Now I got this inverter at no cost to me from a family member, but if I was to go back and choose, again, I would go with 48 volts, and I would go with a Magnum 4,400 watt inverter because I don't need 6,000 watts. But you're um, running 
You're running a refrigerator. You're running two uh, refrigerators. Two refrigerators. Tell us what all you're running on there, because it was mind blowing how much you're running. I'm running a. I, I live in a family of five. Okay. I run the washing machine un indefinitely, mm -hmm. and I'm always fully charged every day. I'm in float. I run video games, by the way, I'm a gamer, so I play video games a lot, uh, and my son, they watch TV upstairs, and you know, that's power consumption from their video game machine or PlayStation if they're playing. Yep. Also, I run all my video editing software and equipment off of it. On a desktop. On a desktop. I can't even. No, think. Two, I run two desktops. I can't even consider that. With this... New setup, mm -hmm. you'll be able to. If you was able to get somebody to get one out here, mm -hmm. it'll work, and it'll work good. Interesting. Yes, sir. And you'll save power by not sitting there for a long time rendering. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes, sir. Yeah, it takes me forever. My laptop, I run it during the whole entire day to get you a video up online. So, well, my internet is really slow, and the computer rendering time is slow. But anyway, go on over and check out his channel. Solar power, electricity, and electronics. He's got some really impressive stuff going on over there. Uh, of course, he has more solar power, uh, a few more solar hours, a lot more than we have, but we're working on that. And he's definitely going to improve our wiring and reduce any losses in the lines and tidy things up. So uh, let's get to work. Yes, sir. All right. 